Oh my gosh, we can't. Ugh. Okay, he's so low, he's so low. He's gonna break our bed. I think we should be able to kill him though. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of How to Get Better at Bed Wars, our Low Star series. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get better at collecting and spending diamonds. What sorts of upgrades you should buy, when to buy them, what situations you should buy them in. And uh, so let's jump into a game so we can show that. All right, so here we are on the map Hollow and we can take out our first rush. Who apparently hasn't even laid down a bed defense yet. Oh, he's a new account. Sorry, buddy. That's too bad. Also, I just realized I was playing with the wrong settings and controls and everything. So I'm sorry that um, I was not in full screen mode at the beginning here. Oh, looks like Blue is trying to rush us. Uh, that's interesting. Is Blue still even in the game? What's going on? Um, okay, so we grabbed three diamonds. Um, I personally think we can take Blue Team. Um, so we're really gonna just rush him straight on. Yeah. Whoa! Okay. That was a little weird. He really kind of demolished us. Um, that's bad. So, let's grab... Um... Some of that. I don't know what he's saying, but he's obviously really happy that we gave him all that loot. Let's bridge over to these diamonds. Okay, this time there are two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run over to this base. We're gonna grab protection. Um, usually if I have two diamonds or three diamonds and I want to spend them, I buy protection at the beginning of the game. And, um, okay, cool. Protection at the beginning of the game and then a trap as well. Okay, blue's gonna lose his bed pretty soon to red. I hope, I believe. Come on. He's cheating. He's cheating. He's cheating again! We were so close to killing him too. Where is blue? Going that way. We're gonna have to kill Red real quick. Get shark us already? Alright, Blue ended up going over that way. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab these diamonds. And we're gonna let Blue go for just a little bit. Because we really need to kill... We really need to kill Blue. Oh, jeez. Blue's coming back. I am a little nervous that he starts scaffolding or something. Um, now look, we have eight diamonds because we've grabbed some other people's gems. We still don't have a trap, right? But I think it would be a good idea to buy sharpness and protection since those are both more expensive items. We're gonna get speed potion and gaps. Also probably, probably more blocks as well. Okay, blue's coming this way. Oh my gosh, we can't... Okay, he's so low. He's so low. He's gonna break our bed. I think we should be able to kill him, though. What do you guys think? No. Diamond sword. Where is he? Where is he? Oh my gosh, we killed the cheater. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Alright. Normally I don't buy diamond swords, but... Oh, a sharp diamond sword is very hard to win against. So fortunately, we had that going for us. Red's still in the game. Pink left. Okay, red's going over to pink base. I kind of want this final, so we're going to go. Huh. Go quite the defense. We're going to get a bridge egg. We need more blocks, of course. Alright, well, with any luck, Aqua will be dead to red because he doesn't have any diamond upgrades. And we can blow up his defense with some TNT. Alright, we're gonna wait for him to die because I kind of want these stats, right? It's red. Why did he go that way? Alright, nobody else knows that I have a diamond sword so far, which is good. Where are you going? We got him. He's out of the game. Now it's just us in red. Watch this, baby. He doesn't even have a trap. Alright, well. You're dead. Did he buy a diamond sword too? I think he did. That's crazy. What achievement did we get? Well rounded, win 15 mini games. That's our 15th Bed Wars win. Let's go. So, as you can see, managing diamonds is a very good skill. I'm so glad we killed that last bee hopper in that other game. Man, I was so scared that we we're gonna lose 
the game, but um, fortunately we had emeralds and we're able to take advantage of that. So on this map, it's kind of a far rush. So I like to buy sword and a lot of blocks and rush that way. So build up to this gen. Um, getting pretty stacked on this map in diamonds is relatively easy. So we're going to show you just how to do that. Okay. Red wasted a fireball on us. Okay. And that's the game for him. Okay, so the diamond gens are between each of the bases here. So if we bridge up here... Oh no, I almost fell. Jeez. As you can see, the diamond's right here. The three spawned. If we wait a couple more seconds, we'll be able to get another. In this situation, since nobody is rushing us at the present moment, um, I would probably get sharpness. Just because sharpness is having sharpness is really good for taking out rushes very quickly. But since we're just going to grab a little bit more, we're going to go back to our base. And we have eight diamonds. That's pretty stacked for the beginning of the game. Now, if we had ten, I would probably buy with four diamonds sharp. And six diamonds, prot two, but we only have eight. So we're gonna get sharpness, prot two, a trap, and just heal pool for the fun of it. Um, and now we can get some armor as well, which is really good. Uh, we can put down a defense. And now that yellow has taken out aqua, we should probably go to them. Um, of course, they are on the other side of the map, so it's going to take a little bit of a hike to get there. And speaking of hiking, I just got back from a uh, really awesome camp out with some family. So if I sound a little bit congested, it's because I spent a ton of time around a campfire. We're going to be able to get some more diamonds here. Six diamonds, that's awesome. Um, white, for some reason went that way. Wait. Oh, it's because white took out aqua. Wait, what is, what's going on? Where's yellow? Yellow's still in the game. Okay, well, yellow's going to be fighting somebody pretty soon. Um, we're going to wait for him to die. Now we can buy prot too because we have reinforced armor. Now, we have two more diamonds, so we can either save them and hope to get more prot later, or we could buy... I would probably either buy Maniac Miner or Iron Forge. Um, we have a ton of stuff on this map, so Forge isn't that necessary because it's a fast iron map. So we're going to get Maniac Miner just so we can break blocks that much more quickly. Don't know where yellow is still. Um, looks like nobody could have possibly made it to our base yet. Oh, hi yellow, there you are. Oh my, um, both white and pink are in the game. Green is also in the game. Wait, green could be going for us. Okay, green, side bridged all the way that way. That's really funny. Oh, we missed. Come on, come on, come on, hit that. Yeah, jump right into the void, right into our little trap. Sweet. Okay. We have 10 diamonds now. Um, usually, games won't take a long enough for you to be able to get Prot 3, but we will. Um, just because we've been running around the map. You should usually prioritize Prot over everything else, except for obviously Sharp. Um, but if you have a couple extra diamonds, you know, it doesn't hurt to increase your forge or, you know, do whatever you want. Our next target is green because white and pink should be going for each other and not for us. And green currently has no one else to fight. So he's, you know, if left unchecked, it causes some problems. Oh, white bed is finally gone. Oh, he tried to fireball us. Trying to get revenge for what we, what we did to him. Oh, buddy. We have way more prot than you do. In fact, did he leave? He left. That's lame. Oh, wait, no, he's still here. He just took a really long time to respawn or something. Oh, he's kind of destroying us in that fight, but we are way over geared, so we won in the end anyway. Okay. Oh, we're going to lose our bed. It's time to clutch. So we should grab everything in our, uh, what's it called? Out of all this stuff. And as long as we don't fail sp speed bridging, we should be able to get this bed just fine. I just say I'm impressed with the speed with which Pink made it over to our base after killing White. Oh, and he's been to mid? But that's actually not good. Oh yeah, he's at mid right now. Seems like this guy kind of knows what he's doing. Mr. Noob. Hmm, I think that name is meant to distract us. Okay, we got the M's. 
And there were seven. That's really good. Oh, no! Oh, we lost our win streak. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's such a bummer. Oh, we fell bridging just like a one block gap. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we had a like an 11 win streak too, but it's okay. We still have a 12 FKDR. Man, that's such a bummer. All right, let's play one more game. I got to say, guys, don't be discouraged if you lose a game in Bed Wars, especially if you're on a win streak. You know, that might have been the highest solo win streak I was ever on, and that's because I'm playing with people who are new to the game. Uh, but that's fine. We're locked in. We're going to win this game. We tried to place Endstone. There we go. Right off the launching pad. I can't believe we... I'm, I'm, I'm pretty bummed, if you guys can't tell. Um, I don't think we should have lost that last game, but I... I fell fair and square, and the other guy won because he broke my bed. And I fell again, bridging. Okay, now we're gonna bridge out to diamonds. Which, on this map, are only like... 16 blocks away. Um... We're gonna take advantage of the fact that no one else is really not that rushed. We're going to grab diamonds over here at pink, just because we can. And in fact, we even have enough blocks bridged this way. Okay, we have 11 diamonds. That's pretty rare. Um, you don't usually get 11 diamonds off your first rush, or like after your first rush. But since we have that, we're going to buy a sharp, prop 2, and a trap. So every diamond has been accounted for. Shopaholic 5, let's go. Oh, he's got an iron sword. Um, I believe his defense is a little bit weak over there. Wait, White's here? What the frick is White doing here? Oh, wait. Yes, I'm going to intentionally ignore you, White. I'm going to snag this final. And I'm going to snag you. You have sharpness as well. Wow. Okay, we're just going to keep rushing. Green looks like they left the game. White's about to have to leave the game on account of on an account of me. Yeah, he walked off. Now we're gonna grab some of that. Okay, Green's out of the game. Oops. Yellow's not even doing anything. All right, we could get prot three. Actually, here this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna kill him. Hi, Chief! It's Chief XD! We're gonna buy Prot 3. <laughs> Break this bed. And we're gonna show him how it's done. Alright, can you believe I fell bridging? Whatever, I'm not salty. Yes, I am. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that brief guide to how to collect and spend diamonds. Um, we never ended up getting Prot 4, but a little word on that. If you are in a really long game and you're fighting someone who's either super stacked or a lot better than you or they're cheating or whatever you're at some sort of disadvantage trying to get a lot of prot is a really good idea and obviously if you're if you've lost your bed and you are afraid of losing fights having more protection than the other opponent can be very useful i wouldn't recommend getting protection for every single game because then that just makes the games really long and since it takes a long time to get all those diamonds sometimes other people can get stacked as well but I would usually avoid getting forge upgrades unless you just have lots of extra diamonds. Maniac Miner can be good, especially when you're, you know, trying to break a really large defense or trying to break Obsidian. But mostly focus on getting sharp as soon as possible and then followed by prot. And make sure you always have a trap so that people either have a harder time breaking your bed or you're alerted to when they do. So if you found this episode useful, let me know in the comments. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what else you'd like to see in this Low Star series um, for getting better at Bed Wars. And I'd be happy to make a video on it. So thank you all so, so much for the support and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.